you know, the transition from being a recording music artist full time to now semi retired in recording music to being a music producer and an assistant pastor and a talk show host. My whole oh my have times to change. You know, just wasn't long ago, a decade ago, that I started in the music industry, recording music, uh, being a record music artist. You know, I did not know that it would lead me to being a music producer, an assistant pastor, having my own record label, and Global Force Records, and having my own talk show. If you would have told me back in 2011, 10 years ago, that I would be an assistant pastor, a talk show host, owner of my own record label and a music producer, I would have laughed in your face and said, ain't no way that's going to happen with me doing all that. But it just goes to show that when you're in the spirit of the Lord, when you obey his spirit, when you do the directions of the Lord, God blesses you in multiple ways. With me, uh, because uh, music saved my life, he's blessed me with having my own record label, being an assistant pastor for One Way Pentecostal Church, having my own talk show in the Talking Pancho's Palace, and being a music producer. You know, when, especially African American black artists, when the world sees us, they think we're nothing but druggies, gangbangers, thugs. They think we're just nothing but artists. But for us African Americans and black people, we're more than music artists. We want to own businesses. We want to manage places. We want to have our own stations. We want to take things to the next level. We've seen P. Diddy do it. We've seen T.I. do it. We've seen DJ Khaled do it. It's just prime examples. And me is another prime example. You know, what's with me being a music artist and recording no matter what, whether I've been boo-cheered, whether I've been loved, hated, I think it's helped younger artists like Savannah Dexter and Little Yachi Cody Shane, uh, Pulse Malone, it's helped younger artists because they see someone like me uh, continue to develop not only music but in life in general. And you see, there's life after music, life after sports, there's life after your possession, your profession. You just got to be willing to find what your calling is after you've done it all. And with me, I know my time is almost about short in recording music in general. But, I mean, like I said, it's opened the doors for me to become a music producer, my own, uh, a talk show host, own my own record label, an assistant pastor, and it's even allowed me to be a customer service agent. So, I mean, like I said, when you put the effort out there, when you obey the Spirit of God, you can't help but to grow in life.